this is the main engine man bmw 8s60 mec 8.2 version uh, exhaust wall so this is what uh, we are going to do the dismantling and uh, checking so first thing what you need to do is uh, you have to make sure you are uh, using proper tool and you are wearing proper ppe so first thing before starting the job keep the exhaust valve in place and uh, you can remove the four nuts and remove the safety straps of the oil cylinder so that is what we are doing now this is a safety strap which we are removing and after removing it next use the lift and remove the oil cylinder slowly very slowly you have to remove it and keep it over a wooden support and you just clean wipe out the loop oil which is uh, dripping so make sure you are keeping in a proper place storing it in a proper place So this kind of uh, this uh, MEC 8.2 version exhaust valve is a little uh, different. So in most of this exhaust valve you had seen that uh, the spindle is being locked by a cotter clip but here it is a hydraulic nut. So uh, this hydraulic nut uh, you have to use uh, hydraulic jack and uh, you have to give a pressure of 1000 500 to 1650 bar and uh, you have to open the nut so this is what we are doing so fit the hydraulic jack assembly in place and uh, I had already given a separate video about how to use the hydraulic jacking machine how to open it so this uh, this uh, even this this kind of exhaust while i'm doing for the first time so i thought uh, this video might be a little useful video uh, for the one who are doing this kind of uh, exhaust for maintenance and uh, after it in the hydraulic jack just open half turn to give a buffer for opening the hydraulic nut so hydraulic high pressure hose was fitted and you can see we are increasing the pressure to 1500 to 1650 bar so this is basically the opening pressure for this kind of uh, uh, I mean uh, this kind of hydraulic jack now you can see it's already opened just open some five turns five or six turns and keep it ready and until the time you release the pressure just check it is not getting stuck or something and okay the nut is already loosened and I am releasing the pressure slowly So once the pressure is uh, released, next we can remove the uh, hydraulic uh, high pressure hose. Just follow the pressure, tighten the jack, and uh, remove the pressure, hydraulic nut, and the spacer. Everything remove it, and you can open the hydraulic nut. The jack is being removed. okay 
so uh, most of the procedure will be same but only i found uh, the difference between the other exhaust valve and this exhaust valve is even the air cylinder and the oil cylinder is different and you can see the oil cylinder is like a cage and first uh, after removing it yeah we had removed now uh, so now uh, what happens is uh, we have to prepare for uh, removing the air cylinder housing also so this housing usually what happened is uh, will be having some kind of uh, carbon deposit so remove the deposit by spraying wd-40 so now uh, what i prefer is uh, i uh, usually uh, open the uh, actuator piston and uh, air piston from place so uh, just hit give some hit in the air housing boarding air cylinder housing so or why we do the hitting so that uh, this uh, cylinder housing will get little loosened while you are picking up now i am picking up the actuator piston with the help of a eye bolt this uh, piston removal you can do even by removing the air cylinder housing unit completely also why i remove this is to avoid any lube oil spill while lifting the air housing uh, air cylinder housing so after fitting it next comes the air piston air piston also you can uh, see this is what uh, I, I say uh, inside there will be a lot of lube oil when you lift the complete uh, uh, cylinder housing unit there may be chances for lube oil if your air cylinder ceiling is not completely okay if any damage is there when you lift lube oil may spill so now we are cleaning so once cleaned fit the um, eye bolt and you can lift with the help of um, yeah, crane because it, do, it, it is not so heavy uh, the other way is you can take out the housing completely keep it down and you can remove it. there are two ways this is one of the way so you can see now we are lifting the air piston air piston is very very small and it is not so heavy i can say it's a very simple piston the reason why i remove it is because i don't want any lube oil spilling out when uh, you are lifting the cylinder housing now i am fixing the eye bolt in the cylinder housing once i fix it now i can I can lift the housing yeah again uh, again when you are using a belt make sure the safe weight load is compelling the lifting load which you are going to lift so uh, I had early told I remove all the dirt which is in the landing part of the housing and I give a small hit with the help of zinc rod because see uh, because it due to longer stay it may get stuck when you give some hit it will come up very easily mm, okay now we are already lifted now keep the housing safely and just uh, clean the oil which is spilling 
now the next comes the additional uh, biggest uh, uh, challenge is removing this lock ring so uh, why i say it is very challenging is the biggest challenge in uh, removing this retaining ring is this ring is very very hard and uh, it is not so easy to remove it for me i need at least uh, two additional person to remove it mm, okay so uh, basically what do we need to do is you just need a plier to remove it just extension plier when he remove just use two screwdriver on both the side and lift it this is what uh, i felt as a easy way because this retaining ring is so strong that uh, it is taking almost 10 minutes for me to remove it maybe i don't know uh, okay you can see a little struggle i am facing but uh, still it is uh, okay and uh, the this two or little critical things in dismantling the exhaust valve of this me uh, c8.2 engine exhaust valves so we had removed the re retaining ring uh, first thing which is which is very little uh, weird thing is uh, the hydraulic nut and the second is this retaining ring so after uh, removing all this thing now what i going to do is i am going to remove open the lock nut of valve seat i remove the lock nut of uh, the valve seat on both the side so that uh, we can dismantle we can remove lock nut means uh, you can remove a spindle and a spindle guide at the same time so you got two lock nut on both the side that is what we are removing so after removing this you can uh, take out the I mean you can dismantle uh, both the spindle and seat at a time so after removing this you put back the exhaust valve top unit back to cage So okay, and use proper lifting tool. This oil cylinder housing, yeah, fitted. This is your top side. It's just our top side, or you can call it as oil cylinder housing, and fit it in the all four bolts you don't need to tighten completely put four nuts and you just tighten face to face that is enough all similar it should not be up and down all in the same face that is what uh, that is how you have to tighten the nut of the exhaust wall housing yeah you can see it is all four are in face to face so once it is done you can lift the complete exhaust valve so once you lift lift it slowly you can see the valve spindle and seat is down it is not in the cage it is already removed from the exhaust valve cage okay it is done now and once uh, the cage is removed keep it uh, in a safe place so that you have to plan in such a way that uh, you have easy access to clean the remove the deposits of the exhaust valve and 
we are done with uh, dismantling of exhaust valve for uh, MAN BNW 8S60ME.C 8.2 version you can see a lot of uh, deposits in the exhaust valve seat and you can also find a lot of carbon deposit in the exhaust valve caging also so so since I want to do the overall of the oil cylinder housing I would remove it uh, means I can uh, remove it and keep the cylinder separately also that is not a problem so that's all nothing much uh, very important two things or one is you have to uh, open the hydraulic nut using hydraulic jack second is retaining ring those two are the uh, additional work and this air piston and actuator piston is also a little different for this model and rest all uh, a normal uh, practice only normal exhaust wall overalling procedures only nothing uh, very different and when you you when you are opening the retaining ring please make sure uh, you are doing it safely because it is very very uh, strong and uh, mind your fingers when you are removing it if it get caught uh, finger injury may occur so be very careful so uh, I believe this video must have given you some information about how to remove how to dismantle exhaust valve for uh, man BMW 8s 60 MEC 8.2 engines it's an electronic engine mm, that's all we are done with the job thank you all keep supporting